Hi beautiful friends, thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, so I just wanted to make an announcement before I get into your read. Uh, I will not be making personal readings during the entire month of May because I'm going to be at a yoga retreat for 20 days. I'm getting certified to teach yoga and I'm not going to have any time at all to do personal readings. So I will be uploading the videos onto YouTube um, probably at the end of April, but I will not be doing monthly readings or um, personal readings for the month of May. So if you want a personal reading for May, uh, I would suggest to get it done in April. I will be lowering my prices as an incentive to um, get it done in April because I will not be able to in May. I will not have time at all. So thank you so much guys for listening to this announcement. Let's get into your reading. Hi Aquarius, welcome to your March 15th through 31st general tarot reading. I'm just shuffling you guys a couple crowners for these next two weeks. Let's see what you guys got in store. Oh, too many. Oops. Cool, lots of fire energy. Some of you guys could be working on something that you're very passionate about with all of this fire energy. Also, some of you guys could be deciding to take action in a situation, whether it's, um, I'm assuming romance, because the four of fire is right in the middle of your read. Um, I feel like some of you guys are trying to take action towards a commitment with the four of wands. Some of you guys want this happy home life with somebody. Some of you guys also could be experiencing... Um, kind of like an overwhelming energy with the Eight of Fire. Maybe there's something at work, or there's something that you have put some effort into recently that is taking off. Like it's starting to move a little bit faster, and I feel like you weren't expecting this, and now it can be a little overwhelming. But um, what I'm seeing here is you can handle all of this because you're still feeling contentment and peace with yourself. Like, even though this energy is overwhelming, like, it's not that overwhelming. My Aquarius is, can handle anything, right? Nothing is too much. Interesting. Some of you guys could be experiencing some overwhelming feelings of loss. Some of you guys could have recently lost a family member. Um, somebody could have recently passed. And maybe, um... Maybe there was some... So, for, for those of you who have lost a family member, what I'm seeing here is the events. Um, somebody was experiencing delays when it came to like a burial or something like that. It's almost like this funeral kind of hit them, this death hit them very quick, and now everything's happening at once. But I am seeing all these delays ha are over, whatever you've been waiting for. Some of you guys also could be experiencing a loss of a relationship with the Ten of Cups here and the Four of Fire. Some of you guys are looking down at Three Cups spilt. Some of you could have been put into a third party situation, secretive energy with the Moon and the, and the Three of Cups. Some of you guys could have, lots of water energy here as well. Um, some of you guys could have been involved with a water sign, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, With the Five of Cups, it's like someone turned their back on a very stable connection here, whether this is you or the other person. Someone turned their back on a very stable connection, and now they're experiencing loss. Somebody turned their back on something very promising with the Ten of Cups for a third party. Yeah. And now, it's like somebody thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, and it wasn't. Honey, the grass is greener where you water it. Always remember that. So... For whoever that resonates with, somebody is experiencing a loss of a relationship. They're really feeling like, somebody is feeling like somebody's moving on really quick without them. Somebody turned their back on something very promising here with the Four of Fire and the Ten of Cups. Like, someone really screwed up with this Five of of cups and they're feeling it like I'm hearing like oh shit like I screwed the hell up you know like somebody is really it's hitting them this next two weeks somebody feels like they downgraded from the eight to the four 
whoever this is, they some whoever puts you in a third party situation, or if you feel like, or if you put somebody in a third party situation, somebody's feeling a loss because somebody was an eight, they were the full thing, and then this person that they left them for was only half of what this other person could give them, or what what they were giving them. But there will be forgiveness. Maybe there's not forgiveness right now just because judgment is reversed. I'm seeing that some of you guys are moving forward even without this forgiveness. Like some of you guys are deciding like if this person wants to come back around and apologize then they can go ahead. But I'm not seeing communication just because somebody is worried here. Somebody's worried about a situation where there is judgment and forgiveness involved. Like somebody could be still feeling very judged for this situation. So that's why they're not stepping forward. Because I do feel like somebody has a big ego here and they're letting their pride Yep, they're letting their pride step in the way. <laughs> yeah, with the sun card. Somebody here has a really big ego, lots of pride. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Um, and this person hasn't communicated or hasn't been communicating because there's a lot of pride here. Somebody's ego is very bruised from something. Page of Wands. However, I do see information coming in or messages coming in with the Page of Wands about a connection, about a commitment. Somebody may decide that they still want a commitment. Perhaps a Leo for some of you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, like I said. Um, if not, some of you guys, some of, somebody's deciding or somebody is realizing how how much emotion they had for someone else. The chariot. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. King of Cups. If not, some of you guys are just dealing with somebody at a distance. Page of Wands and the Chariot. Um, some of you guys will be moving forward with a new beginning, a new connection here. For with someone who is at a distance. Some of you guys could be moving very fast into a commitment with the Four of uh, Fire here and the Eight of Fire. Somebody could be moving very fast into a commitment. Somebody is messaging about a commitment, talking about a commitment, traveling to see one another, that kind of energy. Somebody is messaging about traveling. Knight of Wands just wanted to pop out. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, fire sign combination. Some of you guys are, I'm telling you, a lot of you guys are dealing with fire signs right now. Um, however, the, there's somebody at a distance here who feels like a free spirit. Somebody here just wants to travel and be a free spirit. Whether this is you or the other person. Clarify this page of wands, please. The Four of Wands again. I'm telling you. Somebody could be turning their back on one commitment and sending messages to someone else who they put higher than this other commitment. Somebody wants to leave one commitment behind and start a new beginning in another commitment. The Hermit. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Virgo. If not, I'm telling you guys, somebody is feeling it right now. Somebody's deep in their emotions. They're thinking hard about what they've done. Somebody's thinking hard about what they've lost. They're reflecting because somebody's experienced some sort of serious loss here. And it's sent someone into reflection. Some of you guys could be... Um, a little over emotional right now with this Piscean energy that we got going on here. Um, some of you guys are having excessive worry. And it's all just because of your emotions. Some of you guys are really deep in your emotions right now. And I feel like this is kind of a scary thing. There's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of water energy. So I do feel like, especially the first week, it's like hot and cold, hot and cold. I'm seeing a lot of hot and cold energy. Um, especially the first, like, 15th the first half of these two weeks, it's going to be a lot of in your emotions energy. And I feel like Aquarians are typically very detached people. Um, and I'm not saying there's not emotional Aquarians out there, but most of the time, majority of the time from my experience, I've seen that they're, um, 
they're pretty detached. So I feel like this is something very foreign to you for a lot of you. So maybe some of you guys are having some worry because of this emotion, this emotional um, upheaval that's coming through. I do feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting committed to someone at a distance, though. Could be a Libra for some of you. Maybe a Libra Scorpio cusp. So there's, okay, interesting, Aquarius. For some of you, there's someone here, could be a Cancer, that you see this person as a player. It's like a hidden and quitted energy. You could see this person as a mature with the Page of Wands here. Um, some people are going to be deciding to move forward with a free spirit and energy. Because someone here wants to travel. They want, somebody's deciding to be single here. So I feel like there are messages coming in about a commitment, but I'm not sure if all of you are going to be going through and moving forward with this commitment. Some of you guys are going to be deciding that you want to move forward alone and be single. Um, but let me pull you an advice card. With the Empress here, some of you guys could be getting pregnant. Um, the home, family life, some of you guys are getting that. Some of you guys are getting exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for the stable home life, the mom, the dad, the little dog, the white picket fence, the marriage, all of that, you're getting that. Some of you guys also could be birthing some sort of creative project into the world. There could be messages regarding that. Maybe some of you guys are very committed to your work and you're going to be having to travel for your work. Um, so that is what's going to keep you from um, committing to somebody. To committing to a, from committing to a person because somebody here somebody here wants to be a knight of wands they want to be free because they want to travel for their creative project because this creative project is what gives them the ten of cups somebody here has the mindset of like well i need to be single for a little bit because i need to focus on making myself the best version of who i can be so then i can get this ten of cups like somebody's putting their career and their creative projects before a committed home life because somebody realizes that without one they can't have the they can't truly have the other but there's a lot of um, wands here lots of wands energy there's a lot of action being taken somebody's taking action and deciding to travel to someone else or messages of travel can come in Somebody here sees someone else as the Empress. They want this Ten of Cups with them. Somebody wants the Ten of Cups with a Libra. Eight of Earth. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school. Yeah, Page of Wands can also represent um, like student energy. Some of you guys could be going back to school, um, getting committed to school when it comes to something you're passionate about. Some of you guys are going back to school and studying something that you're very passionate about, and you're going to be committing to this. Um... Lots of eights. Four and eight. That's a very specific number that keeps popping up in this spread. So pay attention to 888, 444. Um, four is the number of stability. Some of you guys are embarking on some sort of creative opportunity here, and it's a skill. Like something that you are doing that is very creative could require you to travel. Um, something that requires you to take a lot of action. Like you have to get up and do this. Um, this is going to be rewarded in the last half of March. This skill. Somebody is going to be taking serious action when it comes to a passionate connection, a passionate commitment. I mean, you guys got the four of fire in the heart of your read. So some of you guys will be definitely getting committed to somebody here. You're turning your back on one connection for some of you. Some of you guys are turning your backs on one commitment and looking right up at a new beginning. Um, perhaps with a Libra? For some of you, perhaps with an earth sign, maybe a Virgo. But that is what I see here, Aquarius. If you'd like to book a personal read, please DM me or email me. My information is in the description box below, and I will see you guys in two weeks. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Bye-bye.